silver or gold? Which is the better value right now? Welcome to Silver Pro, sponsored by SD Bullion. I'm your host, Yankee Stacking, and I'm joined by my silver stacking YouTube idol and co-host, Silver Dragons. How you doing, buddy? What's up? <laughs> uh, wow, that was quite the uh, intro there. Uh, what, what are we doing today? What's the topic? Uh, silver or gold? Which is the better value right now? Mm, silver versus gold, huh? And this question comes from one of our subscribers, SD. Uh, he's known on YouTube as Luke. He put this chart together, best value, gold or silver, and I think he was questioning premium. So he put this chart together, and let's just walk through it, SD. You know, real quick, can I point something out? Sure, yeah. Uh, this was a few weeks back, so the spot prices are a little bit off. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, they're a little bit higher than they are right now, uh, which is which is great. If you want to buy more metals, you want prices to go down. Uh, but also I wanted to point out that the ratio when this chart was made is very similar to what it is today. So, you That's know, kind true. of our analysis doesn't really change. We're mostly looking at the ratio. Looking but... at gold spot. And like you said, at the time it was 1954, 82 cents. Silver spot was 24.10. So he compared a one ounce gold buffalo Mm -hmm. And a one ounce silver round, I believe, best price that he could find at the time. So the gold buffalo was two thousand seventy four dollars and eighty seven cents. The silver round twenty seven dollars and ten cents. Now I find this interesting that he picked a gold buffalo because it's probably not the cheapest gold option out there. I mean, obviously you could get a gold bar, you could mm. get some other type of a gold coin. Uh, but either way, yeah, let's just, we'll, we'll use it for this because that's what he, you know, picked. He, he, he put this <laughs> together. So obviously we'll use it. Right. But that's a good point. The premium for the gold Buffalo, $120 and five cents, the premium for the silver round $3. Okay. So comparing gold to silver dollar for dollar, the one ounce gold Buffalo is the 2,074 87 and the Silver, when multiplied, is two thousand one hundred and ninety-eight and eight cents. Mm -hmm. The premium, when you compare dollars for dollars, was a hundred and twenty dollars and five cents for the gold buffalo, and two hundred and forty-three dollars and thirty-three cents for the silver. So roughly double the premium on the silver. Yeah, that's right. The gold buffalo had about a six percent premium, I think, and twelve percent, twelve and a half percent premium for the silver. So, so he was asking yeah. us in the email, what should he buy? This was basically, hey, these mm -hmm. are kind of the two options I'm weighing. What do you think is a better value? And to me, when I look at this, it's actually not even close. It's to gold. me, I would way rather go with the silver. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's clear that gold is the better value, right, SD? I mean, I mean, it's half the premium of the silver, right? When you look at just the premiums, if you had no other information, if you knew nothing about these metals, what they've done historically, if you were just going off of, okay, how much am I paying versus a, for a premium? Then you would think the gold, but knowing what I know, knowing what you know, actually the silver is an incredible value right now and i think we need to kind of dive into that a little bit because maybe yeah. to someone who's new to metals it's not super obvious right yeah yeah i agree um i i think there are more factors here that fit into the value proposition right it's not just premiums yeah i think one of the biggest things which i mentioned before is the ratio uh, and in fact, if you look it up today, the ratio is even higher. I think it's like 84 or something. It is. Uh, yeah. So slightly higher than the 81, which is just making silver an even better value. Um, the higher the ratio is, the better of a buy silver is. And historically speaking, the ratio is very high right now. And I think we do have another chart uh, here that we could bring up, but it just goes into silver's upside potential how much it's undervalued that's I right think yep. that cannot be understated it really truly is so this chart is a gold to silver ratio and what silver's performance is after busting over that 80 
to one ratio, which we're at right now. And look, yeah. at, look what happened. It's dramatic when it reverts back to the mean, like 75.5% in 10 months, 81% in 12 months, 375% change in 30 months, 36% in four months, 91 in five months. Just since January 2000, it's happened four times. I know. It's like basically the higher the ratio is, the the more undervalued silver is. Mm -hmm. And so with it being over 80, to me, I don't even need to look at the price <laughs> of the individual silver piece or the gold piece or whatever. I just look at the ratio. It's over 80, boom, go silver. silver. It's as simple as that. 2011, the ratio fell to 30 to 1 or almost 30 to 1. And before... I don't know, probably before you were born, 1979, uh, it went all the way down to 20 to 1. Can you imagine, SD? Let's say it just went to 60 to 1. Silver would be like 31 bucks an ounce. I know. There, there's a, another reason, too, and I think we want to talk about this, and it's the mm -hmm. upside potential with silver. When gold goes up, silver tends to go up even more, and we've seen that historically. That might not mean a lot to some people, uh, especially if they're on the older side. They might not like that volatility. I think there's a lot of upside potential that is worth stacking silver for. Silver is not even half of its all-time high right now. Ooh, not even half. Point. It's lower yep. than half of its all-time high. Gold is within spitting distance of its all-time high. I mean, we're talking, you know, a few percent. And, and so just looking at those two things, mm -hmm. you know, where's silver at, where's gold at, it seems like it's just screaming silver to me right now. Now, it's not like I don't like gold. I stack gold. I have a, a quite a bit of gold. It's mm -hmm. just the timing is better for silver. And I think it's pretty obvious when we factor in everything else. And there are a little bit of other factors too. What do you already have in your stack? Do you have mostly silver, mostly gold? Are you diversified? Are you new to stacking? Are you just getting into it? I would say for most people in most scenarios right now, I would go with silver. One more. I got to And it's the reason I have this 90% uh, constitutional junk silver right out here. And it's the use case for silver. I don't know if Luke is a prepper stacker like me, but I want silver for potential butterability be able to barter with my silver. I'm going to do that a lot more than I will with gold. And so I think silver has a place in people's stacks because of the way we might end up using it. Not only for barterability, but also just the, uh, the entry point. Maybe it's a little bit more difficult for him to afford that whole ounce of gold. Right. And uh, maybe he'd be better off buying just 10 ounces of silver and kind of dollar cost averaging next week by 10 more ounces of silver. We don't know his exact scenario, but I think for most people out there, the lower entry point for silver makes it more appealing. So it's just another reason why silver, to me, is the winner. I agree. Silver is absolutely worth stacking. I think it has a better value than gold right now. That's crazy. I mean, Isn't it? To me, because like <laughs> Yankee, you're kind of the gold guy a little bit uh -huh. in the community. I mean, when you started stacking, you had a lot of gold. Um, just the, the size of your stack, the ratio, gold, silver. Um, but to hear you say that silver is the winner right now is like, that just proves it's it's true. It really is. I mean, I you know, I love silver. I've, I've always stacked silver very heavily. Um, but I think when we look at the timing, when we factor everything in, it just, it's very clear. By the way, is there ever a time where it might be foolish to stack silver, SD? Absolutely. Absolutely. When the gold-silver ratio does dramatically lower, when silver is at an all-time high, the ratio's in the, you know, 30s, 20s, whatever it goes down to, mm -hmm. then... Gold is the clear winner. You want to be stacking gold when the ratio is low. But that's just simply not the case right now. So will that time come, perhaps, in the next few months, few years? We don't know what the future holds. But right now, that's not the case. I say stack silver hard because these prices are going to seem low <laughs> in the future. 
Well, that's about it. Let us know in the comments if you think silver has the better value over gold. And we'll see you on the next Silver Pros. Stack like a pro.